map is Craftwork. This is a map in the World of Tank frontline game mode. We're going to talk a little bit about strategy. Uh, I'm playing on Cap C. Uh, so one thing you want to do is between B and C, there's a butterfly um, on-ramp system. That's the best place to snipe from because from there you can snipe into C and you can snipe into B. Now keep in mind the vehicle that I'm playing is not an overpowered vehicle. It's not my best vehicle. I'm only playing it for the grind to level it up for EXP for modules and things like that. <clears throat> so this is one of the positions that I've been playing. Two people is difficult to play over here. If one person takes one opening and the other one takes the other opening, you'll be fine. <coughs> so the enemy is going to try and cap. They either have to be directly behind this wall or they have to come into the lower area. You do have to be careful because obviously there's snipers everywhere. There could be a sniper right there. You see what I'm talking about? And if nobody spots him, he's just going to keep sniping. Under attack. So I'm going to let my allies know that he's there. Oh, you're coming back? Reminding my allies that there's somebody out there. You're close to the repair facility. When you get down to 25%, I recommend you go in for a repair. So we've got some more guys showing up over here. That's always good, right? I wasn't fully loaded. I came out too soon and he ran away. Uh, we're going to move to another position because it is an important video about uh, tactics. You know what? This is the best position to be in, I think. Most of the enemy is, in fact, on this side. We got a big problem here because these guys are not spotting this bridge, and whoever's riding, driving my tank is really not paying attention. You think I can hit him from here? Well, my ally did the big one. Come on, come on. I'm going to go in for repairs. Zone A has been lost. Attackers got extra time. I only got 887 uh, damage and 1,000 spotting. So we're having a lot of problems because the people on this flank are not controlling the flank. They're letting the enemy control the flank. And you have to control the flanks in this game. That's the way it works. You want your tanks to cap or to defend the cap, you gotta control the flanks. Whoever control the flanks wins. See, we've got equal players on each team. Vehicle repair. That guy's got full health. He could go over there. It's easy to get to the bridge. There's a guy playing over here. Obviously, this is a good place if you have Heavy good gun depression but I don't, right? See what's going on? My team is not spotting and it's hurting us. Uh, it hurts me emotionally. And if you ask them to go do it, they're not going to do it. You can't assume that they know how to play. They don't. You're just going to have to suffer. So the light tank is about to go in. I'm going to reload. You can see the light tank is going in right now. We'll see how good he is. And you know why there's a uh, hidden tank over here? Because our team isn't doing their job. So I will pull in with the Scorpion G. Ready for deployment. Our reinforcements have arrived. 
I'm going to play on this flank. I'm going to show you how easy it is. Obviously, they made it easy for me. But what we'll focus on is clearing out all these tanks over here. Just by keeping them spotted is all you got to do. Looks like we got somebody spotted out there in the distance. Oh, I shot the wrong tank. I shot the one who was about to die. See all those guys back down there not helping out their teammate at all. They just they're just leaving him to die. Zone D under attack. They won't be able to cap while we're here. We're going to make sure they have a bad day. Now these guys have to have to spot who's ever over here, and if they don't do it, we can't help them. Zone B under attack. They assassinated my driver. So now the LTTB is going to be a threat to me. I think my allies will help me. The answer is no. Ah! He cheated. He must have used some sort of a device. I think the bridge moved. So I'm going to come out with Ready for deployment. one of these vehicles. This is really appropriate. You know what? Maybe I'll go over here. So we're going to get a look from the other side. We're going to go to the intersection. And from here, it's actually really easy to snipe. And nor you don't have the problem where you got potential uh, snipers all over. You really only got to worry about the people in the middle. Everyone else is mostly going to leave you alone when you play from this side, as long as you don't go too far over there. I believe that this is a sniping position right here. And often you'll do it without getting spotted. I'm going to find out as we approach. I think Zone this D is it. Has been lost. The enemy got extra time. Zone D under attack. Maybe it's more so over there. We got one minute to deal with that guy. He's got 400 hit points left. So I get, I saw a guy get like 19,000 damage. He did half of it with that tank. I could not believe it. 20 seconds left. Oh, somebody reset. It's probably that dude right there. The main objective. The reset dude. Reached. And I obviously uh, did completed the reset that the WZ-132 failed to do. So I got 3,500 damage. He's name-shaming me. 3,500 damage and 2,000 spot. Still got people potentially spawning in. We got some targets over here in the B area, so we're going to head over to B. Our reinforcements have arrived. 
Heavy artillery is ready. We'll drop this artillery over here. Hey, that's Vidania. Air scout is ready. You're so lucky. Just a wild shot. Don't you fire? There's a lot of tanks approaching C right now. So we should go and check out what's happening in the sea. Lousy shot, thank you. I don't know who dropped the smoke, but uh, smoke has always been useless. I don't I, see. I mean, I can see right through the smoke, and they can probably see me too. See, they can see me too. What good is the smoke? They got the VK for 521 damage. Yeah, this is a great snipe position. And this is the vehicle to do it with. I've only been firing regular rounds. Uh, I am going to run out of ammo eventually. I think there was a tank right there. I don't know, maybe my eyes are just old. It's like they withdrew. I think I see them waving flags, white flags, and surrendering. Oh, look at that. Inspire reserve is ready. I'm going to try to use this tower to block their shots. Oh, look at that. I got that shot in. I can probably use a repair. I probably use a repair enough times today. Gonna do, buddy. That would have been beautiful, right? But you can see that this position is very powerful for sniping. I'm done. I'm done. Good. Got up to 4,800, right? The enemy got extra time. Zone B under it's up attack. to 5,400. Heavy artillery is ready. I'm gonna leave a little present for him. That's the done. 5,700 damage, it's, that's pretty good. Probably the best ever by any player in any tank. That was weird. Oh, you know what? It switched to HE rounds because I ran out of regular rounds. So I'm going to drop this over here to help out my boys. I'm going to have to go back for some real ammo, unfortunately. 
I'll let them take me out. It's no big deal. We're going to go in for some resets. If they take me out, I will spawn in with another vehicle. Yeah, he cheated. My team is all spawning back in. So we'll, we'll come in with this POS tank. So I'm playing this vehicle for the purpose of uh, leveling it up. And the penetration's okay, it's just kind of average. See, I made it up to major, that's pretty good, right? And it uh, looks like they're gonna cap because they're a bunch of cheaters. What's gonna happen now? You can still be in their zone, right? So we're gonna find where the repair facility is. Make sure we can spot it. I think I can do it from here. I definitely can do it from here. And we're going to snipe at them as they're trying to do repairs. Yeah, and if, and if they're honest, they'll let me live. If they're dishonest, they'll destroy me. Mad dog killer. You name shaming me. So I got another respawn. I'm going to go in with this. Which is obviously uh, a machine that was created for love, out of love of uh, technology. So now, obviously, the tactic is going to be to slow their advance. Uh, my allies are probably a bunch of losers, so they're probably going to allow the enemy to advance in quite a loserly way. We're obviously also outnumbered over here. So normally what you want to do is you want to type a little message that says, Hey, uh, teammates, come and help us because, you know, I don't suck, but everybody else on my team sucks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one, two, three, four, four. We need eight more at F now. And that's it. To let them know to come here because they don't know where to go to. They just know that they're losers. Ricochet. That's how they say it in Russian. Borscht. Spawns left, unfortunately. Let's see how much we can trust my allies, right? If I live, we can trust them. If not, Air Scout is ready. Inspire Reserve is ready. Heavy artillery is ready. Oh, did I F it up? I screwed up the artillery. Because I hit the right mouse button by mistake when I was moving my mouse. Because, you know, I don't play in a comfortable position. I play on a little tiny, I don't know what I would call it, like a folding table. Okay, we're not going to be able to slow down their advance, right? This is it. This is where tanks come to pass on. You know what the game's gonna end. 
So I'm going to come in with the AE phase one. Ready for deployment. Probably not going to be able to do anything except for win the game for my team. We have lost zone F. Leave the sector Okay, so I'm going to get out of here. It looks like the bridge is the right way to go. to do, buddy. Man, what's up Our with these dudes? I needed, look how much I needed to get general. Well, it's not going to show it. I needed, you can rewind and look, I needed like one more hit and I would have gotten general. And they hit me with artillery like five times. Okay, it's going to be three minutes before I get in. Um, that's the episode about defending Cap C. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.